You don't have any golf clubs for sale, do you? Um, oh, G.I. Joe's, man, you did good. You can look through them if you want. Man, that is cool. Those got this and no, i mean they raided the toy thing when i went back because i had to go load my stuff in my truck but this guy was still left for a dollar and he was actually the one that's worth the most and he actually someone sold this same one for You said a dollar for everything? Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna make my pile. Please do. <laughs> That was my pile I just made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I, I, I saw this on the internet on the Craigslist. Like I gotta go. I don't know That's a cool thing looking right there. Rick and Morton. Okay. Okay. Oh, If you're not, you go get the Spider Man. Yeah. I'm gonna get one of them for my son. There's one. It's all tangled up. Those little bags are crazy. Okay, here we go. Any bag in there? There's a new turtle bag. Is that the? Can't be the original. Not in that good shape. There you go. 
Boop. You don't have any golf clubs for sale, do you? Um, That's usually what I like looking for at the yard sale. I got, I got, I got three nice clubs. Yeah. There, but I can't sell them yes. No, that's fine. I mean, if, if it's, it. yeah, cool. Yeah, that'd be cool. All right. What are these? The red. Yeah. 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 30 bucks. Can we do 40? No, nah, I gotta get 50 out of there. Gotta get 50 out of there. Well worth it. Look them up. You'll see. Oh, I know what they are. This is what I, I deal with. This one's got a small finger. You know they're good. Yeah, I think you might be. Good. You wanna do 40? 40. Oh, cool. I'll do 40. That makes me feel comfortable. Pretty good. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. I'll put it right here. And... Yeah, they got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yep. Thirteen cool deal. Yep. I saw, I was like, I'm going to get here late. I know. I, like, I don't know y'all have. Yeah, we got it. I bet we were up at, we I, have people here at 6 30. I bet. I seen. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are I'm you? Doing good. All right. Hey, you doing? Some corks. Top no. and bottom. Review. Plaza or a dollar. I'll do it. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Excuse me. Oh, you get these? I'm sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, okay. What I was looking size? at the glove. Yeah, well, the, okay. I'm not interested in the glove. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, well, of course. I'm going to get the glove. That's so good. And this one back. Okay. You don't have any golf clubs for sale, do you? Today? Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> hey, you know, you're okay. It's one golf glove in there. Oh, wait, that might have been a batting glove. Uh, you're okay. All right. Thank you. Can't win them all. All right, so after the yard sales, I did find a decent Facebook Marketplace deal, so I'm headed that way to get them. But before I go, I did stop by a Goodwill, and I did find some pretty decent clubs in the golf club rack. Looks like these are some Adams clubs. These are ladies flex, and uh, not too bad. There's three of them in here. I wish the whole set was there, but hey, I'll take it if it's there. And then I did find a couple more clubs in here in a minute. That's a Mizuno iron. Anytime I find those, I pick them up, but they're the forged blades. So not bad today in this golf club bin.
And I did see this lady by me and she had a ton of G.I. Joe toys and uh, she was kind enough to let me look at it. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool and I was I was very curious the dates and she was too so I was trying to find it. I know on the G.I. Joes are usually on the usually on the bottom of the butt there. Um, I couldn't get the clothes off of me. This thing, she had this buggy loaded down with G.I. Joe toys. I mean she said they were for her grandkids so that's awesome. But looking at the dates here we found it. It was on um, 1992 you know Connor's going to look you know I, you know typical kid you know if he sees a bunch of toys he wants them but he was a good sport yeah 1992 as the date on these things so I'm not sure what they are going for but great sport by her and I explained to my son this is why we go thrifting you never know what you're gonna find in thrift store so good for her on that nice find So we did make our way on down the aisle. I did spot some cast iron um, skills, pans, whatever you want to call it, right here on the side. So they're made by Lodge. I didn't pick the smaller one up, but the bigger one here, I actually just noticed they got two of them there. I didn't notice that until doing the voiceover. But yeah, there was a 12, I guess it's like a seven, eight inch skillet. And made by Lodge, the only one, 99 cent for that. So I did pick it up. Kind of wish I would have looked the other ones up as well. Cause they were in really good shape. And I mean, for 99 cent, you can't beat that price. All right, so I did go back to pick up the Nicholas Care Bear. It was a five and seven wooden here, but my GoPro does die here in a minute, so I'm gonna give you the story. The gentleman just brought out a buggy and um, of stuff that, you know, these people are always bringing out stuff every day. And I did spot when I was picking out the doll clothes, there's an Xbox 360 inside that cart. And uh, along with that jewelry box too, and that jewelry box was very popular because so, I didn't leave it and a lot of people was <laughs> trying to get it, but. Yeah, you can see the jewelry box look very nice and then discovered they only wanted 10 bucks for that but the xbox 360 is in the cart i did i do pick it up they want like 399 for it and these cart people do not like you following them or following them you can look at look at them you just like don't bother me but yeah we got an xbox 360 out of that all right guys so i am back home now and i'm gonna show you all the haul this is for a friday haul here so it's pretty decent not too bad i mean i've not found this amount of stuff on a friday in a while so i mean we got big you know it was a yard sale first probably in my video and we got a big shoe haul there and i got some golf clubs from that yard sale wasn't bad got some toys and then i did go pick up a facebook marketplace pickup i did not video that but this was a pretty decent pickup this is adam's a12 os left-handed women's set i'll break that down in just a second and then we did go thrifting to a goodwill and i did pretty decent so um i'll start with the goodwill thrift first um we did get a cast iron pan this was only 99 cents as a lodge it's the 8SK. I did look these up. I mean, looking like maybe $15, $25. This is in really good shape. I'm just now starting to learn cast iron a little bit, but I know Lodge is a good name. Not like Griswold, but I mean, Lodge in this kind of shape, I think I should get at least 20 bucks for it. I paid 99 cents. And they're not hard to ship or list, so decent score there. Yeah, I don't think I filmed this. My GoPro did die, but in the Goodwill, they did. I saw, I saw it in a buggy. And the guy bring, was bringing it out, but they wanted $3.99 for an Xbox 360 with cords. This is the first time I have ever found an Xbox 360 or a game system in a Goodwill. So definitely not bad. 360s are still selling for like 60 bucks or more. So hopefully it works. Maybe I'll find a decent game inside. And moving on, I did find a few golf clubs in the Goodwill. And with some bad pickups, I've got this Adams A12. I'm sorry, Adams A5 OS is a women's iron. Adams is a good name to pick up and find like the newer ones. I mean, they all are actually. I mean, I got the eight, the nine, and the pitching wedge. I'm sorry, that the nine iron, the sandwich, and the pitching wedge. And they're, you know, ladies flex, decent clubs. I think I should get, if I sell, I'll probably sell that together. I probably get like 40 bucks for that. And I pay $3 a piece on the clubs. And then if you ever see these, this is a Mizuno MP14, like a forged iron. And I mean, anytime you see a forged iron made by Mizuno, I would pick it up, even if it's a single seven irons do seem to sell pretty decent so did want to pick that up and then i did pick up these right here these are called nicholas air bear um air bear twos and what's cool about these i mean they don't sell the greatest maybe 15 20 bucks i think i can pair them together and sell them but they have what you call an ozone shaft so you can see how the shaft actually tapers down comes back up and i just think it's really cool and so i did pick these up for three bucks and should see at least 30 bucks or more for these two yeah, so for my Facebook Marketplace pickup, I saw this last night for $100. That's a set right here. 
It's a full set of ladies um, Adams IDA 812OS irons with, this was underneath the head cover. I saw this in the listing. This is a Cobra amp cell driver. If you can see that bio cell, this driver itself will pay for the whole lot here. I'll probably get at least $100 for that. Not a lot, we do have a Tiger head cover. Anytime you get a Tiger head cover, they are very popular. I don't, I'm not sure the exact sole comp of the Tiger head cover, but I want to say it's $20 or more. So not bad there. And then we, I saw this in the picture. You couldn't see it very well, but I thought that's what it was. It is an Adams, I'm not an Adams, a Odyssey white steel. This is called a two ball blade putter. And all these are left handed too, which makes it even more rare. So with a full set of these Adams A12 irons, and the then the odyssey putter with the driver and we got some off-branded driver over here as well i should see i paid a hundred i think the whole value of this bag is anywhere from three to four hundred dollars so not a bad facebook marketplace pickup i didn't even try to haggle with him he had people lined up after me it was posted for like 30 minutes and that's when i got it so you got to jump with the facebook marketplace pickups quick if you don't they will disappear as quick as you message them so guys turn it around here all right guys, so I'm gonna go to the finds. I found the yard sale real quick. I did find some toys. I'm not a big toy reseller. I got these mostly for my kids, but however, there is some good value in these. This right here is made by Spin, I'm, I'm sorry. It's made by, yeah, Spin Master and, and Sega Toys made in the United States. I'm sorry, made in China, 2008. This thing's called Bataku or Bataku. I couldn't say his name right, but it sells for like 10 bucks, not bad. I mean, everything was a dollar had the yard sale, except for the golf clubs. I mean, I paid 40 for the golf clubs. I'll go over that in a second. We got some wrestling figures. This is actually stone cold. And this one sells for like 13 bucks. But unfortunately, if you can see his eyes right there, it's actually missing a piece. It's supposed to actually wrap around. So I don't know, probably just give it to my son, let him play with it. Did get two John Cena figures here. And I cannot find the soul comps on these, but I'm sure they're worth more than a dollar. So not bad there. And then the best find was, I actually went back and caught this. And I mean, they rated the toy thing when I went back because I had to go load my stuff in my truck. But this guy was still left for a dollar, and he was actually the one that's worth the most. And he actually, someone sold this same one for $30. This is a 2011, made by, made by Mattel, WWE, and this guy is called Doink. And I, I didn't know, I didn't keep up wrestling around that era. So this is Doink, and he goes for around $20, $30, and not bad for a dollar. So moving on, it was a huge shoe haul here. And out of all the shoes, I mean, everything was a dollar. Uh, if you know some of these brands, we got Brooks here. I want to say I'm probably going to get maybe 20 bucks out of these. And then another, you know, common brand here we got is some Vans. Vans or red canvas shoes. I don't, I haven't looked up a sole comp on these yet. So hopefully get at least $20 or more. Shoes are where I like to be, 20, 25. I did pick up these red, these red Echo. I've got the submodel name here. I just call it red. So I did look these up. I saw where somebody was selling these for like $30. So not bad there. And then moving on to the Nikes. I did pick up the Nike Hirachis here. I mean, when I got there, I mean, people had Nike Air Maxes in their hand. They had all kind of decent brand shoes. So if you might've saw if the film or if the GoPro caught it up, I just started grabbing shoes. So you have got the Nike Hirachis. These are actually worth about at least $30. They were missing the inner soles here, but still, I saw these going for anywhere from $40 to $50, so not a bad find there. We got some low top Air Force Ones, and they're in pretty decent shape. So I think I'm gonna see at least 30 bucks or more for these. That's not bad. And then we got a pair of Nike Airs over here. I forgot the submodel of these. I will throw the sole comp in the screen. I've probably been throwing sole comps in the screen the whole video. I wanna say these did not sell that great and it wasn't that popular. I'm still only paying a dollar, so I should get a little bit of profit for them. And these are the Air Jordan Retro 10s, and these are pretty cool. They're women's Jordans, and they have like on the back, on the bottom here, all the Jordan's accomplishments, you know, like the 87 scoring title, dunk champion, you know, you can see it on the bottom here. So pretty cool. And I wanna say these are actually selling pretty decent, probably around 30 all the way up to $50. So not bad, and they're in decent shape, so some decent profit there. And then the last thing I did pick up from him was, oh, we've got about Rick and Morty too. Rick and Morty new in the case here. It's a Funko little figure. It actually went for like $13. So not bad for picking him up for a dollar. And, and the sell through rate on those are pretty decent. Guys, and last but not least, I did pick up three golf clubs. And yes, I did pay $40 for them. When he pulled these things out of the garage and I saw Pro Launch blue shafts on here and a top flight head cover. I was like, something is, I mean, I knew something was off because I was like, there's no way top flight has a Prolaunch blue or someone would do that, which I have seen people do that, put really good shafts on 
not really good golf clubs. But yes, true, they are Ping G5, 3 and 5 wood. And then we did get a Ping G2 driver. Oops, don't want to scratch it no more than it is. I paid $40 for these. He wanted 50 There's a small ding in here, but this club G2 driver, it's an older Ping driver, but it still sells for anywhere from $40 to $60. And so that will give me my money back. And then these Ping G5, 3 and 5, five woods here, I want to say I'll at least make 60 to 80 bucks on both of these, maybe more depending on where the market is right now. I have not looked them up and I haven't had these clubs in a while, so I don't know where they're selling, but I know I'm gonna make at least 80 bucks off my $40 investment. So that was pretty good. That's where I wanted to be. And the guy was really nice enough to sell them to me for 40 and help me out on some profit in there. So, and then you got the head cover still. I mean, that little Seminoles, um, Florida Seminoles head cover still sells for like 10, 15 bucks. And two top flight driver head covers and a wood head cover, not bad. That might sell for 15 bucks for free shipping. So you know to capitalize on the profit of the golf clubs and that's normally what you want to do but yeah guys that wasn't a bad haul for friday i normally don't go yard sale on friday so i did today and it looks like it was going to pay off pretty good so guys i need to get busy listing all this stuff i appreciate y'all watching if you got some value out of today's video please don't forget to smack the like button it does help me out a lot but anyway guys we'll see you on the next video see you